Good morning friends, Kate from Venison for Dinner here. This morning I was using some canned potatoes and it's something that many have asked me about how we even use them, so I thought I'd do a video and get into it some more. We started canning potatoes a few falls ago when after our massive potato harvest we would have potatoes that were accidentally forked with the digging fork or they were split from where they grew or they weren't going to keep and we could only eat these so fast and they need to be ate within a few weeks or they'll go bad so we started pressure canning them and we discovered that this was an awesome way to preserve potatoes that wouldn't store in our root cellar. I don't use them much until we get to warmer seasons when our root cellar potatoes are starting to soften. But this morning I needed a quick breakfast and there's a bread I want to bake later that the secret trick is the canned potatoes for sure. I think one of the biggest things with these is you just have to trust them. This is probably only the third time that I stirred them. If you stir them too much, they will start to break down and then you'll end up more with like a mushy hash. But if you want them to stay like more of a crispy potato, trust them. This morning I drained a quart jar of potatoes in the sink in a strainer and I rinsed them and I let them sit while my pan heated up. Then I added some butter and I added the potatoes and I let them start cooking without me stirring them at all. Once they were closer to done, then I added some different herbs and salt and pepper and just gently stirred them. Just, you really can't stir them too much. We had them with scrambled eggs and canned pears. It was delicious. Everyone loved it. This is a very standard breakfast for us because it's things we grow and produce and preserve that is easy to throw together. Okay, so the next thing that I'm planning to do with canned potatoes today, and I actually started this video because I realized that I was doing two different things with canned potatoes today, which is not normal, especially this time of year when we still have potatoes in the root cellar, but I needed a fast breakfast this morning and canned potatoes was really easy for that. And then I really want to make potato bread. Potato bread is delicious. I only kind of follow a recipe, so I'll give you my best bet on a recipe. Um, but I start with canned potatoes. I do have a recipe in my ebook called Small Beginnings that uses leftover mashed potatoes, and that's really good. So this is a riff on that, where I just puree this whole jar, because the liquid in here are super starchy. It makes a really good bread, just wait and see.
saw this thing in a wood stove cookery book where the guy said his grandma always kept eggs in either the humidity pot or the kettle so that there was just hard boiled eggs on hand and at the end of the day they got put in the fridge if nobody ate them. Marius and Mac have been learning to tan hides. They're starting with squirrels because if you mess them up it's just a squirrel and boy did they mess up the first ones. It was kind of hilarious. This is some oil something that my brother-in-law who has a tannery gave them. This jar is least weasels I think they're called. Some sort of weasel. This is in the pickle. This is the first step. Something like that. I don't know. We're in the process of learning how to do this so that they can do bigger hides and one day maybe we'll be able to show you how to do it. That pot of onions I was sauteing, now it's got all the good stuff added in so it can simmer away. Mayor Hamish is home and Mr. Gesh is, looks like he's coming in too. Well, they, t they do a program, so they don't, like, yeah, it has lectures and coaches them through. It doesn't go by grade. At pre-algebra, at from there, then you do. It's hard. So it'll give you hints, too, and. Yeah. And that's good if you like it, so. In our house, we call this Valdine's beans. You can find it on venisonfordinner.com. But it's kind of like a baked beans. There's some maple syrup in it. But I like the green beans in it. It's super delicious. It's something from my childhood. And I thought I'd make a big pot of it for a few meals, including home church lunch. We did a super easy lunch today. I had some broth needing to be used, so I just boiled it and then added in these rice ramen noodles. So we just had a really informal ramen that we then had the hard boiled eggs with. And I was super excited to try these hard boiled eggs. Um, they did not turn out so good. <laughs> um, we're either missing a crucial step or I don't know, friends, I don't know. I always check the internal temperature of my bread to know if it's done. It should be around 180 Fahrenheit. The reason I do this is because I don't follow the exact recipe every time. My wood cook stove oven is not the same temperature every time. And yeasted bread versus sourdough bread, and this is yeasted bread, bakes for different amounts of time. So the bread is kind of wobbly on top. That's because I let it rise a little too long because I'm always used to sourdough rising times versus yeasted bread. I was gonna ask. Can I just grab it? You are good for keeping your fingers clean at all. Mine? It's mm -hmm. One fingers these? are clean. Some of these eggs. Did you ever boil these? Do you know anyone mm -hmm. who's bit by a brown recluse on Salt Spring? So the whites ended up like overdone, but then mushy, not dried out, but then the yolks were like way overdone. I don't know, friends. I don't know.
So like this much. We'll, we'll just start dumping it in them. More than that. Yeah, that's about as full as we want them. Okay. Here, how about you tell me when it's they're full? One full. I'm, is mine full? Those are pants. Were they dry on the rack? Yeah. Really? They you have two pairs of pants there. Rowan, could you go help him? bread turned out so good as I was expecting um I shouldn't be so cocky about bread but I have to say I know bread pretty well and it was as delicious as I hoped so have a lovely day friends I hope you enjoyed this video here is the spread that we put out for our home church lunch of bread cheese beans those beans got devoured friends also the giant coffee pot is mandatory for home church of course <laughs>